Here we go. Here it is. I actually looked at it yesterday, but I thought no to cover this. Okay. I actually looked at it yesterday, you know, found this article existed because I just looked up Star Wars, and this article was like the third thing that showed up. Here we go. Women are apparently saving Star Wars. Okay. No one is saving Star Wars. You know, of course, you know, this is a trash article bashing the fans, of course. You know, that's all they ever do, okay? You know, they're not gonna blame the actual culprits of ruining Star Wars, Disney, Catherine Kennedy, and Ryan Johnson, and Zara Zara Abrams, okay? It isn't Kelly Marine's fans' fault or Daisy Ridley's fault that Star Wars is ruined, okay? It isn't. Catherine Kennedy, uh, yes, he's a woman, but most of the most of the people who ruined Star Wars are men. Bob Iger, you know, Ryan Johnson and Zhao Zhao Abrams, the directors and heads of Star Wars, okay, you know, <laughs> and of course the mouse himself, Mickey Mouse as well, okay, Catherine Kennedy may be the CEO of Lucasfilm, but we all know Zhao Zhao Abrams, Roundhead Ryan Johnson, ruined Star Wars, okay, we all know they did, okay, and of course, here we go, Star Wars has ruined it, apparently for me, that's a problem, well, did we hear massive outcries against Black Widow? Did we hear massive outcries against Wonder Woman 1984, which both trailers have launched back, really almost back to back, you know, within a week, okay? Most people like those, want to see those movies, okay? And I won't be surprised if both of those movies beat Captain Marvel at the box office. Hopefully they do, but, you know, Captain Marvel does not deserve to be the highest grossing female superhero movie, okay? Captain Marvel does not. Okay, and of course, you have female characters within Star Wars that people like. Ahsoka and Leia come to mind. Those are the first names that come to mind. If you might, you're all like me, be surprised that women have been the mainstay of the franchise. Of course, you know, of course, I always said Leia is the first character I thought of. Was that very simple? Of course, he was a creative trouble reader. Well, she is right about this, okay, you know. But I guess he's gonna go around and defend Rose Tico, but as Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, Looms on the Horizon, The Mandalorian, Streams on Disney+, Plus, the ground, story on the ground is very different. Woman. <laughs> oh no. So we ain't seeming regions of the fans proclaim a ruining Star Wars. Oh yeah, the 5%, you know, with the exception of, you know, certain characters being introduced in Star Wars, not many people really hate the new characters introduced in The Mandalorian, okay? You know, it's only like a 2% of people, okay, that hate, you know, 2-3% to 3 of people. And the only people who are, are saying the episodes are disappointing are saying that it's either filler, or it's too much like other Star Wars material, okay? You know, it's too much like other Star Wars material, okay? But Star Wars is thus one of the front of the B.O. in pop culture, world extends to television, film, video games, and sport, and everything else, okay? Mirror's presence of women is, with any agency, is influenced as forced diversity. What was the outcry of Arita Bell Angel? What was the outcry of Wonder Woman 1984? What was the outcry of Black Widow? Okay? What was the outcry of Kill Bill? Okay? Or Alien? Okay? What was the outcry of Alien? Alien 2? Alien 3? Oh, I was everybody saying, oh my god, Alien 3 is such a terrible movie because they had a female character? No. Okay? Or, you know, where was the outcry? For, you know, for all these other movies, okay? Or read about Angel specifically, you know? <laughs> well, of course, it's, uh, you know, they only say that we hate females if we don't like the woke pieces of trash. Ahem, Book Smart, Ahem, Hustlers, Ahem, Dark Fate, Charlie's Angels, the reboot, not the original versions, okay? Um, Captain Quank, The Last Jedi. Okay, Olsen's 8, uh, you know, and Rise of Skywalker as well, people hate, you know, we all hate that movie, but, and, I, and you know, and of course, we can't forget, we can't forget Ghostbusters 2016, where it's all, we out there, you get Ghostbusters back to men, okay, we well, you know it's actually kids, but how dare you not have the, you know, diversity in Ghostbusters, okay, 
corruption or something. They believe it's Blue Street belongs to them. It's hard to pinpoint what actually the conversation really took off. But it's the most insidious manifestation of racist misogyny of the English speaking world. And it's only making a radical claim for the company to stop policing media at their door, to stop caring to people other than us. There has been over the last six years mountains and mountains of cultural crisis at play. I'm not an expert of the Star Wars fandom. I'm not going to rehash them. The business is my speciality. So I got to talk about this situation from that perspective. Will it be anything? So some so can that unites all fans and communities that real fans are being ignored, abandoned, and rejected. Well, it's not because of women, okay? You know, it's the fact that you put all the little children characters, you ruin them, you turn Luke Skywalker into this grumpy old man, okay, that he doesn't even his does not even resemble Luke Skywalker at all. Okay? Not at all. Okay? Favor of women and people of color, of real fans and pictures. Yeah, when you try to pop a Black Panther and put it for best picture, oh yeah. They, you know, we don't, you guys totally don't have bias there, okay? Or how he made <laughs> fucking Moonlight when best picture, a movie that no one saw, okay? A movie that, you know, then saw on Blu ray because it's only for a small audience, okay? You know, Black Panther actually did sell on Blu ray, but you guys said Black Panther is seriously better than Fatty War, okay? You know, Black Panther appeared in both movies. That's the funny thing, okay? That's the funny thing, okay? You're telling me that Black Panther is better than Civil War? According to you idiot critics, okay? Black Panther is not better than Civil War. And the funny thing is, Black Panther is also in that movie as well. So, <laughs> especially being white, man, there is a degree of truth that we only agree. These are institutions that have been overwhelmingly marketed and manufactured for boys and men. Sports have been. Male and of course, you know, who's Brazilian culture? Okay, I'll stop. Okay. And the geek band of its own exists simply down it. Some of my girlfriends are growing up, with, particularly in the Marvel comics. For one example, had whole own pop culture institutions that we all expected to follow. But the nice and everything is an age with a different world, you know, dominated by huge multinationals who spent dedicated to only culturally, culturally not only fan bases, but cultural prevalence, or in some way of the very fans who are now angry at their presence. Goes has been spectating and blah blah blah. As bound of fact happened that media companies built a strategy for engaging with modern audiences. They recognize, you know, the old fans that they solely rely on the old fans forever. Well, these old fans will pass it down to, you know, their children, and that's how it is. That's how, you know, movies from, you know, you know, they have, you know, like classic movies like Jaws. I don't think many, you know, People pass the people sold over that movie to the kids, okay? Same thing with Jurassic Park, okay? The Lion King, okay? All these classic movies, you know, all these, you know, classic, iconic movies, Back to the Future, okay? You know, people, you know, and they'll kind of the more, you know, not like the R.A. movies like Godfather, you know, it's kind of when you get more into film, you watch Godfather, movies like The Godfather, but, you know, you pass these movies down to your kids, okay? Or, you know, comedy movies, for example, Uncle Buck. Um, you know, various people's day off, and of course, you know, many of the Christmas classics and other classic comedy movies, okay? And it's not the Star Wars, it's, it's now of games as well, okay? Mario, Sonic, Pokemon, okay? You know, of course, you say, oh, but those games are for kids, those games are for fucking kids, okay? You know, I won't be spies over with lots of kids, lots of parents who want their kids to be introduced to the stuff they loved. Because they want to experience, their kids to experience the same thing that they did when they were child, okay? Doesn't matter regardless of gender, okay? You know, I won't be surprised that people 40 years from now are making the kids watch Avengers, okay? Making the kids, passing on the stuff they were introduced to when they were kids, like, you know, by their parents, like Jurassic Park. Zars, Star Wars, okay, not really Star Wars anymore, but Jurassic Park, Zars, you know, or Back to the Future, Independence Day, all these classic 90s and 80s movies, okay, and now I can see it even in the 2000s, like, you know, you know, War of the Wings, okay, you know, all these classic movies, okay, our pushback, however, is real, real and focal and outright right, destructive, Kelly Marie's, like, oh yeah, we could go over here, she wasn't harassed, she said she doesn't want to be on social media, you know, <laughs> swear, you know, Social media is still not a good place, but really, that's not for social media for found mountains of abuse. Who? For simply being the movie, okay? I don't hate Kelly Marie Tran. I don't have anything against her. I don't like her character. But again, I'm one of the people, with the exception of a few actresses, 
certain actress from Marvel Studios, it still really is really probably not how she is in Star Wars, okay? There was a few people who we can't really sell, separate from the actor to the wall, okay? There was Brie Larson and, of course, Ben Affleck come to mind, okay? Those are the quickest and easiest ones that come to mind because, you know, the boy, you know, Ben Affleck acts the same in most of his movies as he does in real life, basically. And of course, there's some comedians that act some like acts like comedians in some of the movies, okay? You know, by the film coming out, same happened to countless women sportscasters and Kruger. I never even heard of this. The fans put in the boycotts of Marvel Captain Marvel after the last day and Ghostbusters reboot. And of course, in all these other woke movies that completely bombed at the box office, okay? You know, X-Men Doc Phoenix, Man Back to NASA, I won't be surprised if that's how about those movies as well. Not only the individual women who evolved, but the companies themselves so only stand up us, and we don't stand up you. But the numbers believe, you really didn't spell believe. The people making those decisions about King's strategy to him all these making billions of dollars, the money will end, new generations of fans are being made. Right here and right now, potentially decades of royalty ahead of them. Same messages that were of 10 year old boys, we can resonate with 10 year old girls in 2019. Anyone can become a hero that whatever you want. And that's actually a kind of good message, but you know, this article, they're just attacking the fans, basically. Okay. You know, I'm not asking you to be sentimental about this, but purely for mercenary events, there still will be gained by doubly down in the audience rather than embracing the mass of mass media. Especially streaming movies become more and more into separate devices owned by major conglomerates. You don't want to be some subscribers, you want them all. And considering that women make up the majority of moviegoers, actually it's kind of half the moviegoers in some countries, and, you know, and are far, far away from the major decision makers and household purchasing decisions, well, it seems to be a no brainer to me, okay? But, you're not going to talk about all the movies that people are playing, that people are not going to play about, Alita, for example. Okay, you guys bashed that movie to oblivion. We all know how you guys hated that movie, okay? We all know how you guys hated Alita Battle Angel. But of course, we can't talk about Alita, or they get saddle banned on Twitter, okay? But of course, if you don't like, you know, Brie Watson, okay? Oh yeah, you know hypocrisy of you guys, okay? Saying, oh my god, we harass these people off of social media? Well, <laughs> you guys are really harassing Daisy Ridley for saying she's not privileged. Because he says he's not privileged. That just shows the absolute hypocrisy. And of course, you know, another thing is they oh, because it also people minority, you know, might know of, you know, minorities, okay? Then, I, I can just look up one example. James Appel's Stick to the Stones. You guys absolutely tried it fast. That, that so, it was a Netflix movie, to oblivion, a comedy, stand-up comedy, to oblivion. And 99% of people liked Dave Chappelle sticks to stones. Only you weirdos like don't like that. Don't like that because you get you guys get so offended over Dave Chappelle sticks and stones. You guys get so offended. Or how about let's go over the massive disaster of Batwoman? Okay, you know I don't think little girls are watching Batwoman daily. Okay, that show is going down the toilet. Okay, it's going down the fucking toilet where it belongs. Okay, you know Batwoman. You know, you know it's you know. And of course, that, and of course, this is just another terrible article, you know, blaming the fans for everything, you know, saying, oh my god, how dare you not like, you know, for, you know, Rose Tico, even though they're not going to go with the real corporates here, Ryan Johnson, okay, Zaza Abrams, Disney themselves, and Kathleen Kennedy. Goodbye.